So this is my outdoor solar generator that I um, power my pergola with in my garden. Um, I plug string lights and a radio and some other things into it and it um, powers the pergola and provides me a source of power out in the garden. And I built this in a previous video probably a year ago. And it works great. Uh, this video isn't about the solar generator per se. It's about the inverter that I have in the solar generator. Um, originally when I built this, I had, a, I had an extra 2,000 watt inverter laying around on my shelf and I threw it in here. And it, I mean, it was the whole size of this thing, but um, it, the, the, I put it in there and this thing worked great. Um, but I have since repurposed that, that inverter um, for my main power, one of my two power walls. And so I needed another inverter for this. So I just went and grabbed a cheap inverter off AliExpress. I made sure it was pure sine wave and it was rated at, um, of course they advertise it at 1600 watts, but I knew it wasn't going to be 1600 watts, but this only has to power two, 300 watts at most. So I wasn't concerned that it, that it wasn't going to be its rated wattage. I was just, um, you know, any half decent pure sine wave power inverter will work just fine in this. And so um, I bought it and it's um, in here. Let me slide it forward. There it is. And um, it is thoroughly disappointing. Um, and I'll pull it out and show you around and show you why these cheap power inverters just, you know, aren't worth the trouble. So here is the inverter I bought. It's this um, uh, Powland 1600 watt pure sine wave inverter. Now, there's a few things you should know when you're buying power inverters, especially when you're buying them from AliExpress. They always overrate the inverter. What this is, is this is actually the, this is actually the, the peak, not the constant power. Um, it means it could, for like one second, deliver 1600 watts, but it cannot continuously deliver 1600 watts. And in little writing over here, you can see it says actual power, 800 watts, peak power, 1600 watts, even though they got the big advertising here. Um, the, and what's really funny is, I thought, no, no never mind. Um, so, so, you know, it, it's not 1600 watts. When you buy an inverter, don't think you're getting 1600 watts you're really getting at best 800 watts. And I have to say, I have tested this and this thing can't deliver 800 watts e either. I, I don't think it can deliver 500 watts. So the advertising is completely false. But again, I only need something that can deliver two or 300 watts. I don't even care about the, the power delivery of this thing. I just wanted a small cheap inverter to power a string of LED lights and a radio. I don't even, I literally don't care about the power rating of the inverter. Um, now you should, you know, obviously when you're buying the, an inverter, you probably might care about the, the rating. So, so, you know, just be careful about what the real rating of the inverter is. But um, I wasn't buying it for its rating. I just wanted a, a small inverter that would fit nicely in that, um, in that outdoor solar generator and that I can, you know, get powered some lights with. So here it is. And um, I'm going to show you what the, my main complaint about this power inverter is. So this is the problem I have with this power inverter. And I just don't know if you can see it, but it, to the naked eye, it's completely obvious. And I, I just don't know if you're going to be able to see it on, on the camera. Um, let me try to flip the... Um, anyways, what it is doing is it is flickering and pulsing these LEDs. And it does the same thing with the LED string lights out in the yard. And what it, what it means is this is just not a clean sine wave signal. It advertises proudly that it's pure sine wave, but it is obvious that it is not a pure sine wave signal. It is, it may be you know, it may be better than a modified sine wave, but it's not a clean, pure sine wave signal. And a good inverter actually produces cleaner current than the grid. So um, a good sine wave inverter actually produces cleaner current than the grid. So um, there should be zero flicker coming out of these lights. But 
these LEDs are pulsing and I have the same problem with the pergola that the string lights are pulsing and it drives you mad. It, I mean, it's unusable. Um, and I think it's amplified with the, um, with, with the, the string lights a bit. And, and um, I just can't tell if on camera it's coming through, but it is so obvious looking at the light itself, the flicker. Um, let me turn on the lights and we'll talk some more. So with the flickering of the lights, this thing is useless to me because that was the number one thing I bought it for was, you know, to power the pergola lights. And the thing that annoys me is that these aren't that cheap. This was $50. And um, I ended up having to replace it with this reliable power 600 watt pure sine and waver and this was $70. So yeah, this was $51 and this is $70 from Amazon and this was $51 and wait a month and a half for it. With that kind of price difference, you know, it's these things just kind of aren't worth the headache. Not only is it completely overrated and I mean look at the size difference. This is rated for 600 watts. This is supposedly rated for 800 watts. I mean, look at the look at the size difference. Um, and so, you know, obviously it's completely overrated and doesn't produce 800 watts, but it also just isn't a clean signal. And this, I've had these reliable power um, inverters before, and these produce a clean signal, and they are rated. If anything, they're underrated. And these are really good inverters. So now I have to, you know, I've spent the 50 and now I have to go spend another 70 because I, you know, went cheap in the beginning. And I, that happens to me a lot with, with, you know, some of these electronics. I buy something cheap and end up having to replace it with a more expensive version. So there's definitely, you know, there's definitely some things you can buy cheap, but there's definitely some things that, you know, it's better to just pay a little more up front, especially when the price difference just isn't that much on something like this, given the waiting and the shipping and the, you know, and the complete garbage advertising. Um, anyways, that's my little rant over. Let me hook up the reliable in the, in the, um, in the, in my outdoor solar charge, you know, solar generator, and we can uh, make, make sure that it's putting out a clean signal and put it back in service. So the new inverter is in and I can tell you to the human eye, there is not a lick of flicker from this LED light. It is absolutely perfect, which is how the solar generator worked when I used my original large 2000 watt inverter. It was only this cheap, cheap, that cheap Powerland inverter that um, was causing the flicker. So there we go, you know, $50 wasted and now I have a uh, good, you know, no name brand inverter in here and uh, the light output is good and the, you know, I, you know, and you know, the power output will be good and I have a clean, at least I have clean power and life goes on.